Well, folks, we have another video for today because, my lord, the rumor mill is a spinning. And look, guys, Zelda, 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 Zelda remakes, Zelda remasters. We all know that this stuff has been rumored for a long time. We've actually gotten a number of Zelda remakes, Zelda remasters, HDs. Wind Waker HD, Twilight Princess HD, Ocarina of Time 3D, Majora's Mask 3D, Link's Awakening on Switch, Skyward Sword HD, blah, 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 right? This is just something that happens. We've had Link's Awakening DX even back in the day on Game Boy Color. So, yeah, these remakes and remasters are something that Zelda has been doing for a long time. And today, we have another rumor adding to the mix. And, uh, well, let's just say the Hero of Time might be back before we get into this i want to remind you that we are on our road to 150,000 subscribers i would love it if you would subscribe to the channel drop a like and go ahead and smash that bell icon to be notified of all future videos and uploads including a live stream that we'll be doing later tonight all right folks i gotta warn you before we dive into this we are talk talking about ocarina of time i gave it away at the beginning right the hero of time we're talking about an ocarina of time remake remaster something like that and at this point it would be the first time the games have ever officially been in hd uh, why are we talking about it well the source for this rumor is a little questionable we need to give some context before we dive in for starters Obviously, Jeff Grubb said earlier this year that he heard there's a Zelda something that isn't related to the Tears of the Kingdom to be announced before the end of the year. Then you add on the Sirkin Toto thing the other day where he is an industry analyst who did this little ZR 2023 thing, which people take as a Zelda remake, Zelda remaster, because he did a very similar thing with ZR2 2022 back in 2021. And then he mysteriously deleted the tweets and has basically ignored all questions about them since. I don't really know what's going on with that, but it's gotten us to talk about Zelda remakes and remasters again. And look, we know Grezzo is probably working on something. We know there's old rumors of like the Oracle games back in the day. But obviously one game that people think might make a lot of sense given the current popularity of Zelda would be to bring back an all-time classic in Ocarina of Time. And most of us want to see this as a ground up remake, whether they do it in Unreal Engine or in the new Zelda engine, the new engine they've been using in Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, whatever they do, right? We, we kind of want it to come back. Now we've never seen these games in HD officially outside of emulation and mods, but now, Another person who likes to throw a lot of rumors out there has joined the fray. He is probably one of my least favorite people to cover. But when you talk Zelda, you pique my interest. Who are we talking about? Zippo. So as you see over on Zippo's blog here, he said he will return. This was just posted today. And he said the hero of time will return in the very near future. That's it. That's the post. And let me just say something, nothing else need be said to get my hype up. I, I Look, I'm not going to pretend that Zippo is the best possible source on the internet. He got some stuff right with Mario Wonder, but we can probably write a novel on the things he's gotten wrong. So people act like he's a broken clock, but I don't know Zippo. And the fact that he had some pretty spot on things with like exact days of Mario Wonder makes you kind of curious if maybe he has a contact and the contact sometimes feeds them false information to throw the scent off of real rumors out there. I don't really know. I'm not here to speculate on that. I'm here to talk about Ocarina of Time coming to either Nintendo Switch or Nintendo Switch 2. Now, I noted that just because we got Tears of the Kingdom, and I've been saying this consistently for a while, people always thought you could only really get like a one Zelda thing per year. But if you look at what Nintendo's doing with Mario, Zelda games are now sort of at that Mario level, right? We're getting 18, 20 million, 30 million in sales with every brand new entry, at least the big name ones. So that means that Zelda is right to start having more releases come out more often with this remakes, remasters, and spinoffs. And while we could get a Hyrule Warriors or another cadence of Hyrule type thing, you know, another indie game crossover potentially, or maybe they bring back a Link's crossbow training or something like that. It's interesting that Ocarina of Time is brought up. I don't know that I trust or could ever believe that Nintendo is truly going to remake Ocarina of Time. But if ever there was a game that was worth them putting the effort into doing it, it would be this game. It is the, well, now fourth highest best-selling game of all time. But it's also a, a historical game. And here's the thing. 
Aonuma, in a recent interview, put out a little nugget. And this little nugget just adds more fuel to the fire because this comes directly from the guy who's in charge of the entire Zelda series. If an Ocarina of Time remake is happening or a HD remaster, he would be the one making the call to make it happen. It would be his decision. He said this in a recent interview about a certain character in Tears of the Kingdom called Raru. He essentially said, I don't think people know who the original Raru was anymore. Yeah, that's kind of curious. We literally got Ocarina of Time 3D in 2011, a little over a decade ago, and he's saying that people play Zelda today, he doesn't think they know who Raru is from Ocarina of Time. That means that to him, Ocarina of Time is so old that people don't know who this guy is anymore. And if you have Raru from Ocarina of Time, obviously we have the connection with the Raru name in you know, Tears of the Kingdom. Maybe he's just literally hinting to us that, hint, hint, wink, wink, Ocarina of Time is coming back because we don't think people even know who these characters are anymore. That, to me, would be absolutely... Like, the idea of getting Ocarina of Time in HD remake 4K 60 FPS on Switch 2, you know, maybe that's what it's for. The idea of getting this game anytime in the next year or two is insane to me because I think we might be getting it before they even ring over Wind Waker and Twilight Princess HD. And if you had asked me, you know, even a year ago, hey, what's more likely? We get the Wind Waker or, and Twilight Princess HD, let's say both of them, or we get an Ocarina of Time HD or Ocarina of Time remake, I would have like, literally bet my house on the Wind Waker and Twilight Princess HD. But now I'm kind of wondering if... They don't want to bring back the Wind Waker and Twilight Princess HD without doing more to make it stand out from the Wii U versions. Now, we could do the 4K 60 FPS thing, but is that really going to be enough, especially in handheld mode? You got to wonder. Maybe they want to start remaking, aka visually enhancing in massive ways or from the ground up like Final Fantasy VII Remake and just completely remake the game. I, I, I think that is conceivable. And... The development time to make or remake Ocarina of Time would still be significantly less than making a full-on Zelda game, and they could have outside teams do it with obviously input and help from the Zelda team. I do think a world does exist now, and I, I can't believe I'm saying this, but where Ocarina of Time is a real thing. And a, a real remake, a real 4K 60 FPS beast of a game on Switch 2, or a cross-generation game with Switch and Switch 2. I actually don't think this is so crazy. And as much as I might not trust Zippo, I think that this is a reality I am slowly coming around on. And I'm curious if you are as well. Now, throughout this video, you've been seeing some footage of an Unreal Engine remake. This is, uh, for those who don't pay attention to mods and remakes and stuff, this is actually uh, one done by... Kryzen X, who's been working on this for many, many, many years, and, and he's got some playable builds. He has a Patreon. I don't want to push it too much because Nintendo will probably shut it down if they knew he was making money uh, to make this stuff, although with the amount of time he puts in, not so sure it's actually profitable. Uh, I think it's just nice to get some community support for what he does, but man, it, it, it's, it's really impressive, but this is just what a fan's able to do. You know, obviously you have a lot of assets that are just off asset stores and aren't necessarily like custom built. And even then for a fan project, it looks pretty good. Uh, Nintendo doing a ground up remake should look even better. And that is the crazy thing, whether it's Nintendo or a studio Nintendo's working with on this, it would just be incredible. So while I'm not going to sit here and put all my eggs in the basket of, hey, the next Zelda remake we get is going to be Ocarina of Time. Look, Zippo has me hyped. Circuit Toto has me hyped. Aonuma on the fringes out there bringing up Ocarina of Time unprompted, mentioning, that, oh, yeah, Raru's actually from Ocarina of Time, and we don't think people know who he is anymore. <gasps> Whoa! What is going on? So... I'm just going to sit back. I'm going to let myself ponder on this for a moment. We'll have a deeper conversation on this tonight on our live stream. And I want to thank you guys for being here. So I am Nathaniel Rubblejance from Nintendo Prime, and I'll catch you in the next video.